Bob Stevenish. Today I'd like to spend a few moments with you on our first quarter results and then get into some of the things we must accomplish in 1994 to have the best year ever in Hills history. Let's start by reviewing our first quarter results. For the first quarter of 1994, we accomplished 365.6 million in sales, 10.6 million over our plan, and a whopping 24.1 million over last year, or 7%. Great accomplishment. Let's talk about operating profit. Our operating profit for the first quarter was 4.7 million against a plan of 3.6 million, an increase of $1 million, or 28.3%. And if you want to hear something really exciting, last year for the first quarter, we had a $5 million loss. That's a whopping $9.7 million improvement over the first quarter of last year and the best first quarter in Hill's history. Now, it would be very easy to sit here and say, wow, what a great first quarter. But you know, I remember last October 8th when we were all sitting around the table when our profit was down 67% against plan and we are wondering, what kind of year is 1993 going to be? But you all came through. We had the best fourth quarter in our history, and then followed up with a first quarter that was just so exciting. Now, it would be very easy for us to become complacent and say, wow, we're making the year. But I can tell you that's not the case. We have a lot to accomplish. And I'd like to spend some time with you right now on talking about some of the standards you and the stores have to take care of not with our merchandise partners, not with our distribution center partners, but something we have direct control over. Here are the five key standards we need to concentrate on for the balance of 1994. One, ensuring that we have a qualified associate in every position, critical to our future. Two, the importance of our flush and fill program, a key to being in business and basic in stocks. Three, a consistent implementation of care in every store, 100%. Four, maintaining vendor service merchandise to ensure we're in stock all the time. Five, identifying hot items and categories that we can exploit for the balance of the year. Let's start with the first one. A qualified associate in every position. What does that mean? It's the selling associate that knows what's selling, that knows what their customer wants, and makes their department their own. It's our merchandise movement associates that understand and adhere to door to floor in 24. It's our maintenance associates that keep our stores hospital clean and bright for our customers. I could go on and on and talk about what a qualified associate is, but let's go to store 102 and talk to Chuck Nedley and some of his team on what a qualified associate is in his store. Hi, my name is Chuck Nedley and I'm the GM at Store 102 in Steubenville, Ohio, and I'm here to tell you that we are the best in the chain. The reason I say that, well, we just scored a 95% on our recent f and audit, and I have Gene Cartier, our RTM associate here, who just scored a 100%. I'm here to personally congratulate her and thank her. Thank you, Gene. You're welcome. Job well done. Why do I think we're the best? Because I know we are. And how? We have the most qualified associates in the, in the company, I believe. They know their job, they take a lot of personal pride in their position, and they take care of their customer every day. Thanks, Chuck. That's what I mean about a qualified associate in every position. Let's go on to the second point, flush and fill. You know, it would be a great world if we never had to complete another count in the Hill store, but that's not the case. Flush and fill is our defense against Walmart and Kmart in ensuring that we have 100% in stocks and no overstocks. You know, there's nothing more disappointing than when a customer comes into our store and is looking for a size 34B bra and she doesn't find it. I realize the amount of time that we spend on counts, but I also realize the importance of flush and fill to the future of our company. Recently, I visited a store that was 100% in stock in all departments. They were on the flush and fill program. But all too often, I walk into stores where they're not on the program. How can one store be in stock and one store be out of stock? I'll tell you how. The store that's on flush and fill 100%, they're in business, they're in stock, and they're not overstocked. Flush and fill is not an option. It's the number one opportunity we have today to ensure 100% in stocks and also to avoid overstocks. I know all of our stores can be 100% on flush and fill. The third standard is consistent implementation of our care program. Over the past 17 months, 
I have made 178 store visits. On my store visits, I walk into one store where every associate has a care pin. Many have a gold badge. Other stores I walk into, you can't find a care pin. What's the difference between these two stores? Well, I can tell you one thing. The store where all the associates have care pins, where we see the gold badges, are also the stores that have the high care scores. Let's go to store 212, one of our top care stores in our company, and talk to Linda Johnson and let her tell you what care means to her and her customers. The most important aspect of customer service is taking care of your customer the way you would like to be taken care of. We don't want someone in the store that has a negative attitude. We want someone that is customer friendly, that's happy, that can project that to our customers. Here in New Martinsville, West Virginia, we are a small community with a small store. I think that creates a very friendly atmosphere in our store. To the larger stores in the Hills chain, I would like to emphasize small town atmosphere. I think by small town, I mean be friendlier, nicer, just make it a nice place for the community to come in and shop. Let's take the advice of Linda Johnson and her team. Remember, it's not the number of care pins you wear in your smock that's important. It's the reason you receive the pin that's important. You as store management are responsible for the successful implementation of the care program. If you faithfully practice care, your scores will reflect it. The fourth standard I'd like to talk about today is maintaining vendor service merchandise. What department had the number one sales gain in 1993 at Hills? The answer is sound and video. What category within sound and video had the number one sales gain? It was Handelman. In 1993, we introduced the top 10. The top 10 represented as much as 30% of the total sales of CDs and tapes in our stores. How did that happen? It happened in two ways. One, the associate and department head worked very closely with the representative. And two, the store manager was on top of it because they realized they are responsible for vendor service merchandise. Let's visit with Tom Tietrick and let him explain to you how he works with our handleman rep in Benwood, West Virginia. By the way, this store had one of the number one sales gate in sound and video for 1993. Product knowledge is really what the sound and video clerk needs to know, which is, is not as much as, say you have to read the top 20 every Sunday in your Sunday paper, but it's just knowing what is on our top 10 at Hills, what sells, what doesn't, what's a new release, what's a feature hit, certain things that you should know. And, and if you talk to over with your handle and rep, you know, they, they let you know anything that you need to know. It's really important to work with your handleman representatives because I know ours, Rob, he's in like twice a week. He comes in, you know, goes over what's selling. He talks to me about, you know, what do I need? What am I out of? What's really a good seller for the week? And things like that. So, you know, anything that, that I need, he can give me. Tom, the uh, department head, uh, has a good knowledge of product, uh, not only music and videos, but also the stereo equipment, the um, uh, video games. Uh, he keeps me abreast of what we need to have on hand. Uh, he takes care of the customers when they need it, and he's definitely a plus to the whole department down here. Wouldn't it be great if every store had the performance that Store 44 Benwood, West Virginia accomplished in 1993? And wouldn't it be great if we had an associate like Tom Tietrick in every department? In 1993, approximately 15% of our total sales were generated in vendor service lines. This year, I don't see the compliance that we had in 1993. And you as store manager are responsible for seeing that these lines are followed through 100%. That means knowing your rep. That means knowing the day they service your store. You do this, and I guarantee in 1994, you'll have a better sales game than you did in 1993. The fifth standard I'd like to talk about is identifying hot items and categories throughout the store. Last year, we identified many million dollar items that we found in our stores. How about the sports bra? How about the Whitney Houston album? How about Werther's candies? All of these items were identified by you, the associates managers of our store. In 1994, we want to take this one step further in our quest to be a merchandise-driven company. You as an individual know what I'm talking about. Do you walk the department with your department heads? Do you walk with our associates? Do you ask them what's selling? Do they show you what's selling? And what do you do with this information once you find it? 
Let's go to Gary Carl in store 74, St. Clairsville, Ohio, and let him and his associates tell you what they do with hot items and categories. The key to finding hot items is talking with the associates on a daily basis. Uh, they're dealing with our customers every day and they know exactly what's selling and what the customers are looking for. Uh, at that point, uh, we try to feature that merchandise and uh, put it out on the main out presentation and then we pursue reorders through the SMR system and in communications with the buying division. Uh, some examples that I want to show today, uh, a three-pack paintbrush in our hardware department that we featured on a power panel and done extremely well with, and also a 597 play ball and toys that we've had a main out presentation on. It's obvious that Gary and his team have identified those key items and categories, and Gary has taken the time to exploit these for increased sales and profits in his store. How many items have you identified today? I can guarantee you, if you walk the department with your department heads and associate, you will find a minimum of five items that you can exploit for increased sales and profit. Let's recap the five key standards we need to accomplish in 1994. One, ensuring we have a qualified associate in every position. Two, the importance of flush and fill to basic in-stocks and to avoid overstocks. Three, consistent implementation of care. Four, maintaining vendor service merchandise lines. And five, identifying hot items and categories that we can exploit. We can all congratulate ourselves on the spectacular first quarter of 1994. But you know, one robin doesn't make a spring, and one quarter doesn't make the total year. In order for us to accomplish what we must accomplish in 1994, we have to remember the five standards we talked about today. We also have to remember that you, our store managers and associates, are the ones that will make 1994 a record year for Hills. It's not going to happen by itself. It's going to take the dedication of you and every associate. It's going to take the dedication of every service rep that comes into our stores. It's going to take all of us working together. You know, we have the team, we have the merchandise, and we have over 18,200 associates that will ensure we have a successful 1994. I'm betting on you. Let's do it.